Hi, I'm Navid Ansari and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a character class to use as a pawn in your game mode. So without any further ado, let's begin. You remember from my last videos, we create a game mode, we create a pawn for ourselves, we create a platform. I tried to show you some cool stuff with Unreal Engine 5, some cool tips, some cool tricks and some cool notes that you should know about if you want to create your game in Unreal Engine 5. In this case, let's just open this our game mode that we designed you can just uh, add a blueprint class and choose game base mode with this game mode i promise that i show you the best way to create classes for this game mode for example the hot class default pawn class a spectator class and all of them in separate videos in last video we did talk about default pawn class and we create our pawn and we set it in here in this video i'm going to show you the best way to create a pawn class that has movement and it's more real okay so for that let's just go to content drawer in here right click and add a blueprint class in here and what you want to choose is this character if you go to your game and you remember that from world setting we set the game mode override to our new game mode that we create and with that we create a default pawn class we create a pawn class that we set it in here but let's just add a character class in here right click go to blueprint class and in here select character what is the character if you hover over it it says a character is type of, of pawn that includes the ability to walk around so what it does it's just a pawn class okay that has some functionality in it that will make our life very much easier so let's just create that instead of just using a pawn we can use this character blueprint class to make our life very much easier and i will show you why it is so like always because we are creating a blueprint class we say bp and my my character okay so let's just open it and this is our character default character and we want to design it ourselves so we have a custom game mode right so let's just drag and drop it to put it in here and know that we have this nothing we add we let's just save it and go to our custom mode that we create it's easy to do and in default pawn class you can set it in here bp you can see my character is now here so let's just select that let's just save and compile and now let's just go to our character and design our character right so you can see at the left in components there are some object in here for example the capsule component what this capsule component is it's for collision detection so somebody shoot at us with this collision detection we can check if somebody shoot at us and decrease our health with that okay next this arrow component so what this arrow component do it's saying where is the front of our character where our character should look at okay so with this arrow component we can do that and after that there is a skeleton mesh in here that i will show you in future video all about this skeleton mesh it's very much important okay and the most important thing this character movement okay so all this is just a pawn class that has some objects in it that make our life very much easier so like this character movement just by default it has everything written to it okay so it has jump it has run it has walk it has crouch it has swimming it has everything the Unreal engine developers did all of this just for us and it works the best way possible okay optimized and beautiful right so let's not change anything and just go to our one of our scene that is in here let's just use this scene and in here in word setting okay word setting in you can see that because in our bp the game mode that we create before we set the default pawn class to be bp my character no if we go to our scene you can see in word setting the default pawn class is our bp my character okay so now let's let me show you how you can use this uh, character that we create like all the blueprint class it has viewport it has construction script that we talk about it a lot and we uh, it has event graph like all the blueprint classes let's just get rid of all of this we don't need so let's just save compile and i want to uh, show you that this uh, character that we create is make our life very much easier if you right click in here and say for example whenever they hit the space bar okay so a space bar whenever it's pressed we want to jump and with that we jump that's how easy it can get you can do it with pawn class but with character class it very much make our life easier okay so now let's just go to our scene in here play and you can see if we 
hit space on our keyboard, it will jump and you can see it. Now we have our custom character. And what is cool about this character, it has a lot written to it. So Unreal Engine developer did a lot for us. So for example, if you click on this character movement in detail panel, you can see that it has a lot of property that will work for us. Um, for example, if you go down in here, you can see there is character movement, jumping and falling. Okay, so for jump Z velocity, if we increase this, our character no jump higher and higher let's just compile to see if it's working or not if we hit a space no it will jump higher and higher okay so there is a lot more to this character movement they wrote a lot of things for us with this character movement and because it's written in c++ it's very much um optimized okay you can do all of this with just the point class but with this character it will be more optimized so look let me show you some other things in here um uh, for example gravity scale if you hover over any of them you can read through the documentation that what they are for example this gravity scale that is says custom gravity is there. gravity is multiplied by this amount for character so for example in your scene you set the gravity to be 10 okay for example and if you set two in this gravity scale the gravity that will apply to our player will be 20 so because this gravity scale will be multiplied by the gravity that our level has okay uh, and uh, for example this max acceleration okay what I, I i can't show you all of this uh, because it takes too much time to just show you all of this but i will show you how you can find out what they are so for example this max acceleration i hover over it and you can see it says the max acceleration rate of change of velocity so whenever you want to uh, move around your character how much acceleration it can has at the maximum level and for example this break friction factor that it's uh, explain it well enough so for example in your level you have ground friction you have air friction and all of that with this breaking friction factor it multiplied by all of those fraction and if you want to have your custom friction you can check this use separate breaking friction in here and change this breaking friction by yourself so it will ignore all of those friction that is in your level and it will have its own friction in here and if you go down you can see that it has character movement walking and you can see max step height and walkable floor angle if you hover over any of them you can read through them what they are and that's what you should do whatever comes to your mind there will be something for that in here for example if you go down you can see it has even swimming it has flying it has custom movement it has a lot of things that you can read through them i always read through the documentation of that by hovering over them and after that i change some value and test it out to see how it affects my game and that's how i find out what they are and i think that's how you should do it yourself we need a camera for our pawn so if we want our uh, character to have a body for example we can just add for example this sphere in here okay and after that just add a camera in here for example camera and let's just make it third uh, third person in here and you remember from last video we add a, a spring arm in here so whenever um, something gets between our camera and our character in here the this spring arm will reposition our camera so it will be um, it won't stuck in a wall for example and our camera should be the child of the spring arm so let's just put the spring arm in this capsule and after that uh, drag and drop this camera above this spring arm so it will be the uh, child of the camera the child of the spring arm right so now let's just select our spring arm you can see that this much it can stretch itself so it won't stuck in uh for example wall okay let's just change these to here and here and um let's just change the rotation so like this and we have everything right so let us again compile and run our game in here and you can see no we are in at the third person we can hit the space and you can see it will jump and everything is working fine and if something comes between the camera and our character the spring arm will change its uh, the camera position and in next video i will show you how it will do that we can do a lot of cool things in this character class and i will show you all the things that is important for you to learn please if you want to help me and you, you like this video please hit that like button so that i know that you like this video and i create more of this stuff it's my honor to have you at the end of this video thank you very much for watching bye